If you want to win three of the newest and most expensive mystery decals on Rocket League, we have Spectre 20XX and the Bubbly. So if you guys want to be in with the chance of winning these three mystery decals, three potential winners, then all will be announced soon. So make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, turn on post notifications and leave a comment with your gamer tag. Don't forget, we will also be giving away a Mount Champion this weekend. Good luck and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Watch this yeah. Jazar, finish it! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I did like a little freestyle as well! Okay guys, so I asked you guys for a couple of ideas on what should be added into Rocket League and what Psyonix should add into the game. So, and so some of the ideas were really, really good and so I thought I'd make it into a video for today for you guys. I have tons of ideas that I'd like to look at in today's video. About five we'll probably cover and then we'll do another five soon, which will be for trading. But this video today will be on the vehicle customization mainly, but there's probably a few ideas that aren't solely to vehicle custom customization. So let's get straight into it. Let's get straight into my first idea. We're repping our new car. If you guys like my car, make sure to drop a like on the video, of course. Leave a comment saying, like, I don't know, it looks dope or whatever. I just want to know if my, if my customization skills are getting better on Rocket League. Because I think this car looks pretty sick. If you take a look at it, look, I've got a blue team car here with the Apexes, which I managed to pick up not quite long ago, a few, a few days ago, in fact. And then we've got the Hustle Brows, which I'm rocking on both teams, with the white Dracos. Look at those boys. There we go. Okay, so my first idea is something quite new. And so this is actually something that you can customize on your car, which you can see on the Octane already, which is at the back. And so this, you've probably seen this from the thumbnail already. If I haven't put that there, then this is my first idea. And this is a spoiler, customization on spoilers. Being able to put your own spoiler customizing and put, if Rocket League were to make like 15 different spoilers, being able to change certain parts of it and then designing it. Because I like the way that this comes out. Only the Octane, the Octane ZSR. We have the Dominus, I think. The Dominus? Yeah, the Dominus. And I think the Dominus GT as well, but I don't have the GT. The Dominus, as you can see, this little spoiler that comes out the back. It's, just, it's a nice add-in to the car, especially when you're in a game and you can see the back part of your car. It looks so, so nice. Okay, so then we've got the ZSR, which also has a newer design. This is what I'm on about. Being able to change the design of it, the way they've upgraded it here but to your own preference for each car and we also see this sort of on the Takumi with a tiny little bumper at the back but I'll probably get a picture and just smack this onto a car right here let me just go boom a, a spoiler right there just to show you guys what I'm what I'm on about and maybe make a new section so we've got body of course the, the car we've got a decal a ton of a ton of different ones antennas sort of irrelevant on this game we can just remove the antenna no one cares about that except from of course the bait and nugget which isn't too nice on playstation but it sells for a ton on pc at the moment we've got this which is the titles unless you're grand champion or something like that or got custom tag then you're probably not going to use that i say we should add another another sort of thing like this another label which is called spoilers dead dedicated to spoilers just like on GTA how you can have like a G I think it's called a GT wing how it's like it just comes out like as if it's got wings um, and it just looks so nice on the car being able to customize that maybe changing the colors as well as you can see the black edge that we have right on the edge here uh, for the octane maybe being able to change that to a certain color like red and then this little bit that holds it up the support little arm being able to change the color of that to match your car because I have a white car here if that was white itself and then also another idea which also links into this uh, being around the windows how you can see here I'll show you quickly a painted car we see this uh, for the mantis uh, only the mantis when we go to the purple you see that around the window we have a sort of change of color and that really matches the car if your car is of course that color that you have the white right here we'll just rep that for a little bit uh, around that window sort of area so m being able to have an, an extra customization tab for spoilers and also uh, edges that you can change the color of uh, that would add so much to the car making it give it a bit more bolder and standing out a bit more just like the mantis does around the edges and stuff like that. that that's my first idea of what Psyonix should add into Rocket League. My second idea, taking straight from the first one, we have quite a similar idea with customization. Maybe another tab that you could add or maybe just clicking on the car, popping up another menu from that car when selecting it, just like when you can uh, get like, when you go onto here and you have different options, maybe having an option for a car, maybe clicking the options button or something like that. Maybe one of the buttons that you press like a square button doesn't really do anything at the moment. 
enabling that square button to bring up a menu for the car so that this is my idea tinted windows so being able to change the color of your window uh, making it so that you can change the whole entire color of it so if you have a white painted car like this just being able to change the whole thing to white we have frosted glass that we see a lot and we also have like a limousine sort of th theme that we have with with windows where you can blacken them out so it gets no shine like this or maybe white in them out making them really bright or making it reflective so it's like a mirror so everything you see around you when people see your car in the game they're seeing an exact mirror image of themselves which would look so sick in my opinion and they should definitely add that as an op options menu for your car on Rocket League that is my second idea which I think that Sionic should add into the customization of cars on Rocket League let's have a look at our third idea which is Actually, I'll jump into some training quickly. It's not sort of to do with customization, but to do with the car in general. We should have a new game mode, in my opinion, where, as you see, I drive over to here, so the halfway line, that can be like a little border point where you can't cross. You can't cross at all. And then we should have a new game mode, which I'm calling Demolition. I'm calling this game mode Demolition uh, just because it's like dodgeball. We've seen tons of new sports being added into Rocket League. We've seen the sort of... Um, volleyball thing with drop shot, we've seen normal soccer, we've seen basketball with hoops, we've seen hockey with the, the pucks that you can hit around, we've seen tons of different sports but maybe dodgeball so with maybe goals, I don't know if goals would be necessary for this type of game mode, maybe if you wanted goals but you can't pass the other team's half of course, when the ball, uh, so you smack the ball and when the ball hits another teammate without it bouncing already on their side, so as soon as it bounces I think that's going to go in rip. Okay, yeah, that's gone in, but as soon as it bounces twice, you c on your side, you can then hit the ball onto their side and try and get them out. So if it hits them without actually hitting the ground, and maybe this could be like a six-way game mode. I know you can only have the maximum of four on each team, but maybe putting six on each side would make it a bit fairer for this, and so hitting it around would make it a bit more hectic. And so as soon as you're blown up, the ball hits you, and it's as if someone drives a car into you on Rocket League and you you're blown up. It's literally as, as if that, but when the ball hits you, your car explodes and you're eliminated for that round. Just like Search and Destroy and Call of Duty, I don't, I don't really know if you guys play Call of Duty, but as soon as you're killed on Search and Destroy, you, you die for the rest of that round. Maybe having rounds instead of goals would be a bit more fun to play. I don't know. And I've also seen a suggestion of races, but I've seen another YouTuber cover that uh, type of game mode of racing around with each other and trying to beat each other in sort of like a Mario Kart sort of thing. But another YouTuber has covered that already. So I didn't really want to take his idea so I came up with my own while I was at school and I was just thinking about this and it actually sounds pretty good a demolition game mode of dodgeball and maybe getting a point for each person you demolish and that coming up in the sides maybe make it up to 20 and having a certain amount of rounds for that type of game mode the next thing that I want to talk about is also needing the uh, training mode so you've seen this in GTA, if you've played Grand Theft Auto already, then you'll know exactly what I'm on about. But recently they have, had, they have added into the game a first person mode where if you're playing in the game and driving around your car, you can tap the, the, uh, the normal middle button, which is not, I don't think, I think Xbox might have that, but of course uh, PC, a lot of players do use controller uh, already. So this would also be useful for them as well. So you don't have to click a button on the, on the keyboard at all. So maybe, I know that we can bring up chat by pressing touchpad, so that won't really be useful, but maybe double pressing, like double tapping this, this button, instead of holding it to save replay, double tapping it, so that you can go into first person game mode to give you a different view of the map when playing in Rocket League. This wouldn't, we've seen this uh, with competitive, sort of when you, you can change, you can press triangle to take off ball cam and that helps you do your dribbles and stuff like that. That's helped a ton of competitive players with their dribbles, of course. And then we've also had the, the viewing angles where you can change it, of course. But another idea that I'd like to link with first person game mode is being able to see bird's eye view. And if you don't know what bird's eye view is, it's when you can see over the top of your car like this. It would actually be really useful for competitive to be able to see over the top of your car so you can have a wider view of the things around you. You can't see what's behind you unless you press this button here so you can see exactly what is behind you. So maybe seeing a first person mode, you can see if anyone's trying to demolish you on competitive and trying to take you out so their team can score or something like that. But yeah, 
yeah, first person mode being like into the action. So when you're playing, maybe with a VR, if they connect Rocket League to VR, imagine that idea as well. VR on Rocket League, virtual reality. So being able to put a headset on, that would be so useful to play in first person mode, driving the car around and being in first person, seeing cars zoom past you, being able to hear it on the headset. Stuff like that really is quite cool for the customization of cars, being able to uh, see different angles, which I think is pretty cool in my opinion. The final thing that I would like to talk about, the fifth idea in today's video, has been talked about, I think, in a few videos, but it's actually a pretty unique idea which you guys have suggested to me yourselves and thought was really, really good to add into a car. And also another option that we could add into the panel, just like this when I said spoilers, and that is neon lights going underneath the car. This would stand out so much in game if you was to be able to put lights underneath your car. It would make it shine so brightly. And then also being able to change the color of those lights to match your car, just like I said with the spoiler and the edges, the trim ends being able to put lights, imagine with these wheels that glow, these apex wheels, imagine them painted uh, with a line going underneath the car, lighting it up, and as soon as you land on that ground, or just as you're falling down the map on Rocket League, People can see your, your just gloom with your shadow of your car with the light coming down onto them. That looks so, so cool. And that is my final idea, unfortunately, for today's video. Being able to put those neon lights underneath the car, maybe a new tab as well, changing the color of that, maybe having a different pattern. So just like on Grand Theft Auto, where you could have it at the front of the car or the back of the car or just on the sides, you being able to decide what position of your car you want to have those lights on would be pretty cool. And all these customization things that we have discussed in today's video, help to add to the Rocket League and give more items, I guess. They've added, they're gonna add goal explosions soon, so that is another idea for, for them, for the black markets. They're adding that as a black market uh, item. Then also the supersonic trail, which I, I actually had an idea of that before they even announced it, which is pretty cool. But all these ideas should help Psyonix to have more ideas of what to add into Rocket League in the future. If you've enjoyed my ideas for today's video, then just shut, take a quick look at this painted Helios. Uh, if you've enjoyed today's video, make sure to smash like on today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel and make sure to press the bell to be notified whenever I'm live or have uploaded a new video. This is unfortunately the end but I'll see you guys in the next one for more new ideas of what they should add into Rocket League. Maybe a trading episode next time. I'll see you guys later and peace.